All right, hello everyone. I think we're now live. So thank you for joining. Today we're going to be playing through One Night Hot Springs. If you've not played this before, it's a cute little story about a trans woman early in her transition going to hot springs in Japan with a couple friends. And it looks like we got a couple people in the chat room. Hello, Hazelfudge, Splex, and DJ Susie Dis. I might be pronouncing that completely wrong. <laughs> Glad you're all here. So as I mentioned in my post, depending on how long this takes, maybe we'll play through the sequel as well. Because I don't remember how long this is. It's been quite a while since I played it, so I think it'll be fun. Well, while we give it a sec for a couple people to drop in, we can enjoy a nice peaceful music. Hopefully everyone is having a wonderful Thursday, and if you celebrate, hopefully you're having a wonderful Christmas Eve, or as good as possible, considering the state of the world these days. Figured it would be nice to have a little hangout, because, you know... I know some people in the community are sometimes estranged from family this time of year, and this time of year can be especially hard. Be sure to tune in tomorrow, I'll have a video posting as well, more video game stuff, so... Without further ado, we'll go ahead and start. Let me adjust that. I'll be looking over to... Oh, didn't mean to do that move myself around so we can see stuff. All right, who on earth could be calling me? Beep. Beep. Haru, it's been such... I can't... I'm ready. I'm ready doing great. Ready misreading it. It's been so long since I've talked to you. Sorry for calling so suddenly. You're not busy, are you? Nope. Not busy at all. How have you been, Minami? Hopefully I'm pronouncing all the names correctly. I've been wonderful, thanks, and that's why I wanted to call you. My birthday's coming up, and since it's my 20th, that makes me feel old, my parents said they would let me go on a trip with my friends. So my plan is to go to the hot springs with my two best friends. And of course, that includes you. But of course... My parents will pay for everything, so don't worry about the cost. Hot springs, but you know that I'm... I know, I know, which is why I'm calling to talk to you first before deciding anything. Oh, what a thoughtful friend. Haru, you're my oldest and closest friend. It would mean so much to me if you were with me to celebrate my 20th birthday. Oh, if only I... Could have been in my transition at 20. But also, I want you to enjoy yourself to the fullest. So let me know what I can do to make you as comfortable as possible. But it's been years since I've been to a public bath, let alone a hot spring. Well, it's been my entire life since I've been to one. I've never been to one. I know, which is why it's a good chance. You'll be with me. So if anything or anyone bothers you, you can tell me. Aw, Minami the Defender. I'm not really worried about me being uncomfortable, it's more everyone else. <sighs> it's fine. Nobody will pay any attention. So easy for you to say. They will. Haru, nobody cares as much as you think they do. I promise. Please come. For me? Hmm... What should I say? Well, we're gonna go. Fine. If they have reserved baths, I'll go. Yay! It's gonna be the best birthday ever! I'll call you again when everything's been sorted out. <laughs> I like the beep sound effect. <laughs> she always hangs up so fast, and I fall asleep immediately. Can't believe I agreed to go to the hot springs. What should I do? How do women behave when they go to the hot springs together? Don't ask me, Haru. 
<laughs> Let's see what the search terms hot springs with female friends get me. And hello to everyone who has recently joined. Thank you for joining. Oh, an article titled, When Going to the Hot Springs with Your Girlfriends. How convenient. You don't have to care that much about makeup, so I should worry about it a little. Don't worry about bus size. Well, guess I don't really have a bus to worry about. Hmm. But don't forget to save. Wait, shave? Which parts? How much? This is why you don't Google, because you start to freak out. <sighs> Just don't know, I'll have to figure it out. <laughs> As I go. Someone obviously has safe search on. <laughs> I'll just wait until Minami calls with more details. This is enough internet for me today. Same girl. Guess I'll turn in for today. Yeah. I'm really here. Also, I think her outfit is adorable. What on earth am I doing? I'm not really prepared for this. But I'm here now. I just have to power through it. You can do it, Haru. Haru, over here. Where? Hi, Minami. Oh, wow, Haru, I love your hair. Thanks, I decided to grow it out. It looks amazing. So I guess they haven't seen each other in quite some time. Thanks, Minami. Hey, Minami, don't forget about me. New person enters. Erica. Oh, sorry, Erica. This is Haru, my childhood friend. And Haru, this is Erica, my friend from high school. I guess they really haven't seen each other in quite some time. The last name's Nagata, in case you were wondering. Haru Suzuki, nice to meet you. You can speak more casually, you know? We're the same age. <laughs> We're the same age? Yep, we're close enough. Erica's 20. Yeah, I heard from Minami that you two went to the same preschool. Yes, er, I mean, yeah. Wow, you really need to loosen up. A dip in the hot spring will probably do you some good. Oh, I remember the days of feeling awkward when meeting new people. Minami, you gonna check us in, or what? Right, let's go then. And magically appears the front desk. Welcome. Hello, I have a reservation under Tachibana. Yes, we have your reservation. Would you please fill out this regi <laughs> registration card? Haru, Erica, could you fill out your information? Yeah, sure. Okay. Time to fill out the form. Love this part. It's my favorite part of early transition. First, my name. Probably need to write my legal name. And my legal gender too. Yeah, I probably wouldn't have done that back then. Like they're probably not gonna check, right? Age 19. Address and occupation. Hmm. Never seen a phone number like that before. And everything else. I'm finished. Me too. Thanks. Here's the registration card. Thank you. Just let me. Hmm. Mr. Harutu Suzuki? Any votes for what we should say? Pull the audience. Yeah, the idea of illegal gender is upsetting. So should we just be like, that would be me, or have a little bit of an attitude? Is there a problem? Any votes? Going in... I don't remember what I picked last time. Alright, we got two for problem. Alright. All right, here we go. That's me, but is there a problem? <laughs> problem, okay, three votes for problem. Battle the internal transphobia, yes. And external. 
I see. Your room is the... Do you pronounce that Ginkgo? I apologize again if I mispronounce anything. <laughs> Please enjoy your stay. Attitude. Create that space. Let's go to our room then. I'm gonna buy a drink first. My throat is like a desert. See you back at the room. Oh, her smile changed. Haru, are you okay? Yep. Don't have to worry about me. Let me just move this. I don't want to block anything with my face. Let's go to the room. Oh, poor Haru. I feel like early in my transition, going to a place like this, if they existed anywhere around me, it would be absolutely emotionally exhausting. Nice. It's a proper tatami room. Tatami, tatami. <laughs> Is so much trouble to clean, but I love how it looks. Such a nice smell. <laughs> Don't worry about me as her internal screams get louder. Hi, Casey. <laughs> yep. I just want to lie down and sleep on it. Go ahead. Me and Suzuki here will be just head to the hot springs while you're snoozing away. No, don't go without me. I want to go to the hot springs too. Just kidding. Though I do plan on heading to the hot springs ASAP. Too much studying hunched over at my desk lately. Need to give my stiff shoulders a break. Hot springs. Internal screaming. We should get changed first, I guess. The Yukata should be around here somewhere. Not here. Or here. Or, um, what? That was so strange. <laughs> oh, they're cute. I wonder if they're for sale. Let's get changed then. I'll change in the bathroom. The fear sets in. Just look at her face. What's up with? Oh. I can't remember. I think Erica knows at this point. But. <sighs> Thank goodness the Yukata are unisex. Just hope that it's big enough for me. Looks like it should fit fine. Yukata are all straight lines, so not having a waist or much of a chest is better. That's perfect for me. Hope I can tie it well. <laughs> okay, that's not a good bow. Let me try that again. Maybe this is a little better. I'm okay with this. The little bow. I love the little bow in her hair. Sorry for the wait. Oh, looking pretty good. Thanks. <laughs> Blush. Yeah, if I didn't know better, I would have thought... Uh... <laughs> God. Uh, list of things not to say to a trans person. Erica, I told you not to say... It's okay. Haru. It's better than the other possible reaction. Suppose that's true. But I think there's more than two possible reactions there. Let's get going. I need to check the times for the reserved baths. Wait. You're not heading into the women's bath with us? That would be a bit too... You know. I don't think it'd be that big of a deal. Erica. Don't. Guys, like, elephant in the room. Nobody wants to talk about it directly. Want to check out the reserve baths anyway. Come on, let's go. Let me act like everything's fine and take care of everyone else but myself. Never done that before. Haru, Erica, and I are going to head in then. You don't have to worry about me. I'll see you again at dinner time. That's what she said, Manami. Let's go. Ah, don't grab my arm. See you later. Yeah. It's <laughs> a good point, Tyra. And hello, thanks for joining. I'm making Manami worry. 
got to stop that. Girl, you're putting too much pressure on yourself. First, I should find out how to reserve the bath. Excuse me. <laughs> I like how the front desk person just pops up magically when needed. How may I help you? How do I book the reserve baths? If you mean the family baths, please head to your left and write your name and room on the reservation. Thank you very much. Family baths are to your right. Yes. Thank you. I came here, but is it really okay for someone like me to head into a family bath? What do you mean? You can even use family baths on your own be taking a time slot from an actual family. Hmm. What should we do, y'all? Let's make a vote. I'm leaning towards, uh, it's just one time slot, because I feel like Haru should take care of herself. Although I understand the stress of uh, finding an excuse to not go. Huh. <sighs> That is the superpower you get if you get the job. I assume you're referring to the front desk person. <sighs> Any bets? Should we give up on the family bath? Or should we just go in? I feel like if I remember correctly, try not to panic. <laughs> if only that was an option. Can't decide on this one. Hi, Josephine. All right, we got two, two votes. But take it. Friend didn't come, and I got a telling that it was extremely rude to have reserved a tour spot. Hmm. Hi, Olivia. All right. I'm going to take it. Sorry if uh, this is inducing panic in any of my viewers. I guess it should be okay if I don't take too long. It would be a shame if I came to a hot spring and actually didn't go in. Hmm. I mean... I didn't go in, it wouldn't be the first time I planned on going somewhere and didn't go because of, uh... <sighs> you know, being afraid of how the world's gonna react to me. It's been so long since I've been at a proper one. Okay, I'm gonna return. Reserve a time slot. Not panicking was never an option. Give up. Hi, Vanessa. Oh, I'm so happy you found your channel. Found my channel. I think I said your channel. <laughs> I'm gonna reserve a time slot. Let's see. Apparently I can't multitask. Apparently I cannot read the chat and play the simplest of games at the same time. They're all booked. Well, I guess that solved that problem, y'all. Are you serious? Here I was trying so hard to encourage myself. At least you tried. That's what counts. Excuse me. Sorry, I was just leaving magic. Would you like to book the family baths? I was going to, but they're all booked. Oh no, I sincerely apologize for the inconvenience. May I suggest you enjoy our splendid women's baths instead? And Vanessa, I also want to say a happy almost... You start HRT on the 6th. Okay. I was going to say happy almost three weeks because I was thinking you started on December 6th, but you start on January 6th. That's, that's amazing. Such a wonderful time starting HRT. Uh, may I suggest you enjoy ours? We have face-shaped bathtubs, which you can enjoy privately. Face-shaped. Exotic. If you'd like, I can show you to the baths. No! I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> <laughs> Is something the matter? No, I just... Hmm. Should we explain the situation? Or tell her it's nothing. I mean, I'm leaning towards a explanation. Because I feel like, you know, they might already know since Haru put... Her legal name and legal gender. Tell her it's nothing. Okay, so we got two for it's nothing. Three for it's nothing. Alright. 
That's what we're doing. That's our cell be fine. Is that so? Then I hope you enjoy your stay. Guess I'll head back to my room. Oh, sadness. Hmm. It's a bunch of cis noise. <laughs> Couple hours before dinner time, Minami and Nagata, Kashi calls her Nagata instead of Erika, probably won't be back for a while either. How should I pass the time? Take a shower or get in a quick nap? Ooh, life's choices. I'm just gonna go with take a nap. Cause it's probably what I would do, because I would probably be emotionally exhausted after all of that and emotionally and physically exhausted. The futon is out already, but the tatami is nice. Always nap. <laughs> I'll just take a quick nap. Z, 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 z. Sleeping noise. Wow, time passed pretty quickly. Sometimes I wish falling asleep was that easy. Minami and Nagata should be back soon. And like magic. We're back! Hey, Suzuki. Did you enjoy the reserved baths? Hmm. Didn't go in. What should I say? Well. I'm gonna say I didn't go in, but if we have any other votes, I can be swayed. <laughs> Quick nap is always bad. Didn't go. Truth. Didn't go. Didn't go. All right. We're going to be truthful. Actually, I didn't go in. Why not? They were all booked. That was a unanimous vote for the truth. They were all booked. Oh no. I'll go check if there's any way they could open it up. Just for a little. Sometimes I feel like my eyes move faster than my brain when I try to read. It would be such a waste if you couldn't go in at all. It's fine. I need, like, little internal screaming captions on, like, every other thing that Haru says. It's feeling tired anyway, so I took a nap. <laughs> okay, then. It's fine, Minami. Did you two enjoy the hot springs? Yep. Real nice. Yeah, I've never been to such a proper expensive place before. Interesting descriptors. You should have come with us. Ah, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Oh, Haru, I think you've got something in your hair. Let me get that for you. Okay, I'll get it myself. You don't even know where it is. You can tell me. But it'd be easier if I took it. <laughs> this is strange. There, I got it. Thanks. Hmm. Is that how it is? <laughs> is what how it is? Read my mind. That's what I was going to ask. Nothing, nothing. When is dinner getting here? <laughs> Hi, Castellas. Thanks for joining. Knock. Oh. <laughs> it's like, I heard somebody was asking about dinner, and magically I'm here. Good evening. Please allow me to set the table for you. What would you like to drink? What do you two want? Er... How about beer for everyone? The sly little smile. I'm underage, so I guess I'll just have oolong tea. Right, right. Two beers and one oolong tea, please. Please enjoy your meal. Manami, are you okay with beer? I've never actually drunk before. <laughs> It'll be fine, it's your 20th, so you should try a bit at least. Peer pressure! If you don't like it, <laughs> I'll drink it for you. More importantly, this dinner. This looks amazing. Where is it? I don't see it yet. Did they already eat it? <laughs> Let's eat. I requested a tofu nabi so that we can all share. Don't worry, Erica. It's all vegetarian. 
peer pressure or beer pressure. I like that. Yeah, I agree, Sharon. I I feel like Erica is seems a tad toxic or is at least sending some weird vibes. <laughs> You're vegetarian, Nagata? Yeah, so it's really tough eating out. Can't even get a salad without worrying about having animal products inside. Really, isn't it just vegetables? Uh, you'd be surprised. There's stuff like bacon and gelatin sometimes. It's true. As someone who's pescatarian, but by pescatarian, like 99% vegetarian, I understand. Yeah, Manami bought me a potato salad with gelatin and bacon before. But I know better now. Yeah, I'm not picky about gelatin. <laughs> if it's more like, that's actually easily identifiable meat, then boom, I won't eat that. But otherwise, eh. The drinks are here, so we should toast. You're the birthday girl, so go ahead. Okay then. Manami doesn't sound too excited. Thank you for celebrating my birthday with me. No exclamation. Ah, oh, it means a lot to have my two best friends here. Two best friends that anyone could have. Toast to my friends. Yeah, I agree, Tyra, that <laughs> Erica sounds more vegan than vegetarian. Cheers. Cheers. Now that we got that over with, let's eat. Jinx. This tempura mitake is so crispy. Oh man, this tofu is so soft. Love me some good tofu. Tastes even better with a bit of the pink salt. Is that the uh, Himalayan salt? That was delicious. So full. Of course you are. How many bowls of rice was that? Don't judge me. That's what I would have said. I'm at my limit, too. You two are idiots. <laughs> Haru isn't an idiot. Neither is Manami. Such idiots. Erica's a strange bird. My body feels really heavy. Z sleep. <laughs> they have superpowers in this game. Falling asleep like that. Ah, oh, she fell asleep. Suzuki, can you help me carry her to the futon? Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> it's making me... So hungry. <laughs> Hi Zoe, thanks for joining. Yeah, I'm realizing I didn't really have dinner, so this is also making me a little hungry. <laughs> She's surprisingly heavy because she does sports. It's the muscle. Really? I didn't know that. Little <laughs> expression. Though I can imagine it. She's always so full of energy. I have to run. Thank you, Chloe. Enjoy your channel. Oh, thanks, Sharon. I'm so glad you could join, even if it was just for a bit. Happy holidays. And I just also want to say I appreciate all the engagement in the chat right now. It's nice to see people commenting on the game and having their own little side conversations, too. And as far as I can see, everything looks nice and positive, too. So that's the way I like it. It should be a nice, safe space. She went out like a light today, though. I think it was the beer. Yeah, trust Manami to be such a lightweight. Mm, one beer. That's all it takes sometimes. It's a good opportunity for me, though. A good opportunity. I wanted to talk with you. I remember playing this part, and I was just like, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> oh god. But Minami was being all sensitive about it. Some sensitivity is a good thing, Erica. You know, it's, you know, not always great to act like absolutely nothing is wrong and completely ignore the subjects, but some sensitivity is good too. So I figured I'd ask when Minami wasn't around. Great. Great, great, great. I'm not great with this sort of thing, to be honest. You don't say. But I really just want to understand a bit better. Okay? 
and you can tell me to stop at any time if you don't want to talk. Hmm. Alright, this conversation could be worse. I mean, I don't think Haru... I mean, can't speak for Haru, clearly, but I, I don't like being somebody's curiosity. But I also do like helping people get a better understanding. Because I hate when people are also just weird about me being trans. Mind if we chat? I feel like that's one of those questions where you can't say no to. Nagata is Manami's friend, so I'm sure she really does have good intentions. Oh, but I haven't really properly talked about this to anyone before. Hmm. I'm a bit tired, so what do you want to talk about? I'm gonna jump in. <laughs> What does everyone think? I mean, I think I'm gonna go ahead and talk about it because I feel like Erica is just going to <laughs> keep pestering her. Let's get this shit out of the way. That's my approach. All right, here we go. <laughs> Sorry for voting against a couple people that spoke up. Please forgive me and don't hate me. She could want to talk about something else. That is actually true, Melissa. <laughs> it's like, we know that's probably not the case, but it could be. Don't have to get so prickly. Yikes. I'm just a bit curious, since you're the first trans person I've ever met. Hmm. Add a dollar for every time somebody basically said that same exact thing to me. Whether in person or... Wherever it may be. It's like, I've never met a trans person. Let me ask you 20 questions immediately. Okay, stranger, I met at the supermarket. Fine. That might not be true. Huh. I feel like Haru's face is just like, I want to leave. You might have met other trans people before, but you just didn't notice. It's a very good point that a lot of people, uh, a lot of people don't think about. Because people think there is a certain look to being transgender. Maybe, to be honest, if Manami hadn't told me, I wouldn't have known you were trans, Suzuki. Can I just call you Haru? You can call me Erika. I don't mind. Haru, then. Oh, I hear my cat. Is that, like, your transgender name? Hmm. Er, no, it's a nickname from when I was a kid. Oh, so a nickname when you're... Ugh, when you're still a guy. Hmm. What do we, uh... What's the vote here? Like that, uh... That, uh... Erica's doing great. I'll just say that. <laughs> so we got a... I wasn't a guy before, or it's from my legal name. I feel like this conversation will probably go in similar direction regardless, but yeah. Legal name, legal name. Okay, we got two votes for legal name. Any other votes? Going once, wasn't a guy, wasn't a guy. Oh, three. Oh, we got three and three. Any tiebreakers? I wasn't a guy, or it's from my legal name. Not a guy. Like, oh, come on, y'all. <laughs> We're at four and four. We need another tiebreaker. I guess I could be the tiebreaker. I have no real answers here. Time to start getting in that face of hers. All right. We're going with wasn't a guy. Oh, looks like y'all uh, broke the vote right after I clicked. Perfect. I chose the right thing. It's not like I was a guy before. I've always been a girl. Such a simple thing that so many people don't understand. Just my appearance doesn't completely match who I am. Sorry, I shouldn't have phrased it that way. Get on you, Erica. What was your name again? I heard it at check-in. Great. Probably shouldn't ask that sort of thing to trans people. Yes, that's called dead naming. Asking for a name 
someone isn't using now is kind of like denying who they are. I mean, I do appreciate this conversation from the aspect of like, you know, Erica's being a little bit of a butthead, but these kind of conversations happen a lot. And I feel like this is good education for people who aren't trans that happen to play this game. It's like a little, a little lesson built into game farm. Oh, sorry about that. I don't like that little animation she does. It looks very like, I don't know, like whatever. I didn't mean it that way, so could you forget it? Well, I guess, yeah, that, that fits what I just said. I didn't read the rest of that. It's okay. I actually like the name Haru. It's unisex. It's not okay. I'd like to change my legal name to Haru if I can. Oh, I guess since you haven't changed your name, you can't use Haru on official documents and stuff. Yup. Thanks for reminding me. Guess your legal gender is still... Yup. <laughs> Must be hard on you. Okay, there's a, a sliver of empathy there. Mm. Can't you change it? Like, alright, changed. If only it was that easy. And I have no idea how difficult that is uh, in Japan. I did know about um, needing to be sterilized. Is that still the case today in Japan? I knew that was something, but I thought I read something that that may have changed, but I may be confusing with something else. <sighs> That's just sad. You have to get... I mean, I guess gender affirmation surgery is cool if you want to change your body anyway. Okay. Thanks, Tara. Yeah. I wasn't sure if it was still mandatory, but I thought it might be. I think this game was made a couple years ago. But you need to be sterilized. Yeah, though, in some countries, you can change your gender without doing either. Yay, United States. Didn't know. Yeah, there are a lot of requirements. You also have to be above 20. Not married currently. And have no kids who are minors. Wow. That's a lot. Wait, why do you have to be unmarried and not have kids? Well, for the marriage bit, because if you change gender, it'd become a same-sex marriage. And that's illegal in Japan. Wow. Ooh. And for the children, but apparently it'd be confusing for them. Ugh, I hate that argument. Children are usually the ones who uh, catch on much more quickly. Or they just... You clarify it and they're just like, Okay. What the hell? I know, I didn't make the law. Might get better, though. Some wards allow same-sex partnership now, after all. Didn't realize it was so bad. Hmm. Spouse permission to change your name. Wow. Sorry for asking you so many questions. I hope I didn't make you uncomfortable. Hmm. I'm just gonna go with thank Erica for listening. Well, I guess she says it's okay regardless. Aw, uh, thanks, The Awakening. And hello, thanks for joining. I don't know if you've commented before, but I think that's the first time I saw you. Uh, fine, I'm actually happy. Thanks for listening. Thank you for sharing. Aw, cute. I think that after I made you spill out all of that, I definitely owe you one. Huh? Talked to one of the attendants earlier. Apparently, while their official stance is that you should enter the bats for your legal gender, this is a question they're actually asked quite often, and they decided that it was unofficially okay as long as you didn't bother other guests. Eh, yeah, usual, put all the pressure on the trans person. There aren't too many guests today since it's a weekday, and she said that the bath would probably be empty around midnight. So, so nobody would have a problem if you went into the women's baths, because no one would be there. 
Hmm. Can't just go in? Calm down. It'll be fine. <sighs> Sometimes I get really frustrated when well-meaning, or you, I usually assume they're well-meaning cis, cisgender people say that kind of stuff, like, it'll be fine. It's like, I get it, but you don't understand, because that's not something you personally experience. But what if somebody's there? <laughs> She's batting a thousand again. The bats are big, we'll just keep away from them. But what if they look? They won't look. Even if they do, who cares? If anybody says anything, I'll beat them up. Yeah, that's a classic thing. It does make me kind of smile when some of my friends say stuff like that, but I'm also just like, yeah. It'll be fine. You know, if you say it'll be fine enough times, it is fine. That's, that's how science works. But you were drinking earlier. That was hours ago. It's out of my system now. Come on, Haru. Don't you want to enter the women's baths? So much pressure. Oh, you're a woman too. You have the right. Okay. I like that line. Uh, thanks, the anime hybrid. Congrats on coming out. Nuria. Hi, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Yeah, I agree. They're, all the responsibility is put on Haru to conform, which I think is uh, the unfortunate reality, and that's probably... Tyra could probably speak to this, so that's probably a product of living in a very conservative culture as well when it comes to trans people and trans rights. It's kind of like, you want to be yourself, you have to conform to a very specific version of yourself. Erica. Hmm. What should I do, y'all? Guess Erica's trying to be nice, but sure sounds stressful. Okay, we gotta vote for go. I assume, Tyra, go to the baths. Got any, any other thoughts? That's where I'm leaning to, because I want, I want, um, I want, I want Erica to, you know, redeem herself more, and also I want Haru to, you know, not have to be cooped up in the room the whole time, although I understand. Go, 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 do it, do it. All right. Not go. All right, we're going for it. Sorry, Splex. I'll go, but if anything happens, <laughs> it'll be fine. Game is last words. Let's grab our towels and go. Wait, come on. Um. Actually, I think I'll... Come on, you've made it all the way here already. Uh, I'll even check to make sure nobody else is inside. Yeah, I have to say, like, all the pressure is stressful, but at the same time, you know, I am kind of thankful that I did have some people that kind of urged me early in my transition to do things that I definitely wouldn't have done on my own. Doesn't always work out well, but sometimes I'm thankful for people kind of helping me get outside my comfort zone, even though it's definitely its own whole different ball game when transphobia and discrimination are potential things. All the keys are in the lockers, nobody's in the hot springs, come with me. Yeah, that's true, Tyra. First time is scary. Yeah, I feel like the first time I do anything new, even at this point, after being out for over five years now, it's still scary when it's a first. It's like one of those things, once I do it for the first time, like going to the gym for the first time was absolutely terrifying. And then once I do it and it's fine, it's like, cool, I can do this every day for the rest of my life. You can head in first to wash. See you later then. Oh, her hair's cute. Wow, it's so nice in here. The water feels so smooth. 
That's because it's got a lot of minerals in it that are good for your skin. What do you think? Pretty good, right? Yeah. Thanks for burning me. Uh, I don't see what the big deal is. Yeah. I don't understand why you didn't just come into the bath with Manami and me. I feel like this is like well-meaning ignorance. Yeah, you don't get it. What don't I get? Hmm, where to begin? Let's pretend for your moment that you're in... Hmm. I don't remember which one I picked last time. Well, we got any votes? We're gonna create a scenario that is probably gonna hit close to home, for at least some of us. So if we tried to educate somebody on this, would we explain with a gym class or a school lavatory? Gym class sucked as a kid. Yep. Lavatory, gym, locker rooms. Hi, Ro. Congrats on coming out. Oh, thank you so much for saying that. Lavatory, gym. <laughs> Chim sucked butt. Interesting that that <laughs> post was flagged for my review. <laughs> Jim, Jim, it's all bad. Both sound good. I felt so uncomfortable. I'm going with Jim. Because I feel like that might have won the vote. Gym class in high school. You need to change into your gym uniform. Yeah. You know, I didn't come out until well after high school, but... You know, in retrospect, I can understand why I hated the locker rooms and going to the gym so much. And, you know, people can pick up on things. I'm bullied a lot by fucking jocks. Girls change in the changing room, boys change in the classroom. Where do you change? I'd go to the changing room with the rest of the girls. Of course you would. What if one of the boys tried to come with you? We'd probably call him a pervert. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, you look like a girl, Haru. But I'm not. Yes, you are. At least not physically, not completely. And a lot of people aren't as lucky with the appearance as me. This isn't just pretend, is it? You're speaking from experience, aren't you? People like you know exactly where you belong. But people like me don't belong anywhere. You can't just enter bathrooms or change rooms or hot springs or any other thing that most people can take for granted and do without thinking. If I went into a men's bathroom like this and was seen, I'd be told I was in the wa blah, 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 the wrong washroom. But society tells me I can't use the women's bathroom either. Hence why the family springs seem like the only safe option. It's the same for the hot springs, so we have to watch out for ourselves since nobody else will. Even though we just want to live like everyone else. Oh, another key point that I feel like so many people don't get. It's like we just want to live our lives and be ourselves at the same time. Apparently those two are too much to ask for at the same time. Must have been really tough for you in high school. School wouldn't allow boys to wear anything but the male uniform. But I didn't act like they thought a boy should act. Can relate to that. <sighs> that was before I, uh, well, before I even acknowledged any of that. Got called a lot of names because of that. High school students can be vicious. <laughs> So true. High schoolers and middle schoolers. Like everything gets weird in middle school and people start becoming jerks if they're not already. And then high school is just like, it's a great time if you're able to conform. Yeah, she's Manami. Nothing bad ever happens around her. That is a bit of a delinquent. Bit of a delinquent, you say? Wearing my uniform wrong, fighting with bullies, smoking in the toilets. 
you know, <laughs> the usual. No, <laughs> I don't know. It's literally what I was thinking before Haru said that. Well, I've got over that rebellious phase now, but I know kids can be pretty awful. Girls bullying isn't as obvious as cuts and bruises, but it sticks with you. Were you bullied too? Wasn't that bad. <laughs> so I always heard that uh, in high school, girls were super vicious to one another. And I could believe it. Minami was pretty much the only friend I had in high school, and we weren't even in the same class. My homeroom teacher said it was my fault for not trying to be nice, so I just stopped caring. That's awful. Right? That's just how things are. Hmm. People who don't fit in will never fit in, so it's better to just stop caring and enjoy yourself. Oh boy, I wish, uh, you could just do that. So much easier said than done. Oh, hi Milan. Glad you could join. I'm sorry. Sorry if I'm missing a lot of comments. I'm trying to look over when I can. Such a recluse egg. I can also relate to that, Tyra. Yeah, I mean, uh, how many people in the chat were, uh, thought of as the shy person in middle school and high school? Still thought of that way sometimes. And it's exhausting to have to explain to people the complexities of why, even after coming out, still quite shy. Although I'm not super shy, just in group settings. So much easier to just talk to a camera. It's one of those weird things. Sorry for that incredibly depressing speech. Girl, know all about incredibly depressing speeches, don't you worry. No, no, I'm really happy that you shared that with me. I don't know why, but I feel like somebody's lifted the weight off my shoulders. <laughs> nah, I'm a loud MS. <laughs> Thanks for <laughs> sharing that, Vanessa. That cracks me up. Someone even came to me and said, they thought of me as the shy person. Usually just stay away. Hand raised. Depends on how much wine I've had. Hmm. That's... I was the smart one, so homework helping copying was why... Oh god, Casey, I can so relate to that one. I don't know why, but I feel like somebody's still lifted the weight. I already said that. The homework copying still, uh... Still happens. Yeah. It's weird, like, I'm in grad school now, and I'm still, like, the smart one among some of my groups. Which, I mean, it's not a bad thing. Sometimes it's not always being the smart one, it's just being the one that does the work. But, yeah. <sighs> but when you're so shy and reclusive, sometimes there's not a whole lot to spend your time on, but doing schoolwork. Alright, let's get back to the game before I, uh, spiral. Have you ever told Minami any of this? No. Can never tell her. She's done so much for me. It would just make her sad if she knew. Oh, there you go. Such a common thing to not want to burden others with our tough stuff. Oh wait, I'm sure of this now. You like Minami, don't you? Hmm. What do we think? I don't know if I get those vibes. But do we, do we do we think Haru likes Minami? No response. Or... Yeah. <laughs> hmm. So we gotta vote for yeah, we gotta vote for dot dot dot. Two votes for... Ellipsis? Or ellipses? Ellipsis? Any other votes? Yeah. Yeah. Dots. Yeah. Okay, I think we're at four for yeah. Yeah, dots. Yeah. Oh, got another close one here. All right, I'm gonna go with yeah. Yeah, you know that she's, you know, right? Yeah, I know. She talks about her boyfriend a lot. Sounds like a really nice guy.
I mean, I don't think there's any problem with that, okay? I dated a girl before, too. Ooh, do we have a budding romance between Haru and Erika in the near future? Really? Yeah, back when I was in high school, I dated somebody at my part-time job. So you're bi, then. Bye. You like both men and women. Maybe, to be honest. Don't really know. Don't care much for labels. But it's cool. You do you. Want to check out another bath? They've got a nice hot one in Cypress Wood. Ooh, that sounds nice. Uh, friends owned by the hetero relationship. Can relate to that. <laughs> Gay girls unite. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Erica's single earring screamed gay to me. Yeah, I feel like for me it was like making assumptions based off of Erica's haircut too. It's kind of cute how you hide your chest with your towel, by the way. I thought you said you wouldn't look. Sorry, I didn't mean to. But you do look cute. Ooh. Okay, I'm heading into one of the vase tubs by myself. Oh, come on. There's a lot of off-screen off blushing that we didn't see. Oh, that was great. Hot springs are the best at night when it's quiet. Yeah. Thank you for burning me. Like I said, it's not a big deal. I'm gonna grab a drink. What do you want? Oh, it's okay. I'm fine. Then I'll just choose for you. <laughs> Wait here for a bit. Erica's an interesting person. Yes. I mean, maybe too much, but I also feel like, you know, if they get together, you know, Erica's got some Dom vibes, Haru's got some sub vibes, you know. Guess I should wait here. Oh, that, that makes me angry that the chat flags the message with the trans symbol in the rainbow chat emoji. Hey, Francesca, Isabella. Actually starting to really dig Erica. Erica the mommy dom. Yes. Guess I should wait here. And she's back. Got you some herb tea. Thanks. Tastes good, right? When you're done drinking that, let's head back to our room. Okay. <laughs> what? That goes a little far, I think. Are you referring to the... Splex are referring to the... um. Dom sub comment. <laughs> okay. I'm tired as hell. So I'll see you in the morning. Night. Good night. Should I get to sleep too? I should get to sleep too. But brain. Moving slower than my eyes again. I think I'll have good dreams tonight. Where'd the other person go? Simi referring to Manami. I think she, uh... She fell asleep after dinner. And then that's why... Haru and Erika went off together. It's morning. It's a cute outfit. I like who finally decided to wake up. <laughs> huh? What time do you think it is? Time for breakfast. Breakfast was over ages ago. It's almost time to check out. What? I need to change. Calm down. Minami is dealing with all that, so you still have some time. Oh. <sighs> Cause trouble for Minami again. Hey. Jesus. Do you have, like, the world's lowest sense of self-worth or something? Oh, well, Erica's blunt. You caused trouble for Manami again? Are you kidding me? She just went to go check out. What part of that is trouble? She's your best friend, right? Erica's got good points here. Would you think of helping her out as trouble? Of course not. Exactly. It's the same for Manami. Wow, you're really helpless, aren't you? <laughs> it is easy to get a low self-worth, too. That's... That's true. <laughs> is this the bad ending? Is that what you're saying we're working towards, Cass? Come on, hurry up and get dressed. Manami's waiting in the lobby. Learn 
to love oneself. Hi, just finished checking us out. Sorry I said that so loud. Uh, thanks, Minami. It's nothing. I always feel like Minami's dress, I think that is, looks kind of like an apron. Is that a bad thing to say? I mean, it's cute. It's just... And hopefully what I just said was not uh, culturally inappropriate. He says he wants to treat us all to lunch. He wants to meet you two. Oh, that's wonderful. Minami, I'd love to. Actually, I was going to take Haru on a tour around the town after this. Ooh, oh la la. Sorry, really? What? I like it quickly, Erica just like swooped in. You know, since Haru didn't get to go into the women's baths, I just felt really bad for her, so I thought I'd take her out for a bit. Then I'll go too. No, no, go meet your boyfriend. <laughs> it's your birthday weekend, I'm sure he's got something planned for you. But... Haru, will you be okay? Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and say I'll be fine. Because in that situation, just be like, I'm more than fine. Say hi to your boyfriend for us. Okay then, makes me happy to see you two getting along. I like the little one leg out the door. Take care of Haru for me. I'll head out first then. See you. See you later. So we're taking a tour around town? Nah. I just figured that you wouldn't want to meet up with Manami's boyfriend. But if I didn't say anything, you would have just agreed, right? Probably. Hopeless. <laughs> Anyway, I actually do want to take a look around town. Not sure where to go, though. <laughs> oh, good morning, Miss Miss Nagata, yes? This is the attendant who told me that the baths are empty at night. Oh, thank you very much. It was nothing. If you are planning to visit the town, jeez, they hear everything. <laughs> May I suggest the hot spring in this flyer? Oh, they have lovely private baths that can be reserved by anyone. My older sister often goes there. Your older sister? Yes. She also finds it hard to go into women's baths when there are so many people about. Oh, is your sister also... Yes. So I just wanted to say... I, I hope you have a wonderful time here at the Hot Springs. Or I hope you have had a wonderful time. Forgive my intrusion. <laughs> and disappears again. Wow, oh, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Sometimes I wish I would I wasn't always I wish it wasn't surprising when people are like actually really supportive and inclusive. Guess we should take the ladies' advice. Wanna check out the reserve baths? <laughs> Blush. Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> big brother watches, big sister listens. <laughs> Let's go then. Erica and two. The world can be kind too. Sara. That was cute. So there's like five or six different endings if I remember. Like wait, is there's a way I think to see the different endings? Yeah. Oh. So it's not a good normal or bad end. It's just an Erica end. Uh, does that just mean, like, I ended going with Erica? That's yeah, the same exact ending I got last time. Hmm. I'm kind of curious as to what the good end is. I don't really want to know what the bad end is. Is it just not as good, or is it, like, bad as in, like, trans bad? There is a bad ending. You ended up with Erica. Erica's end, which... <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> well, any, uh, so we've only been on for like an hour. If anybody wants to, any votes, we can go ahead and play the sequel, because there are two other games in this series. <laughs> Use those freeloading thumbs and drop the video a damn like. Ah, oh, thank you. Please do give this a thumbs up. Alright, we gotta vote for a sequel. 
Anyone else want to stick around? I'll have to go ahead and get this set up real quick. Does the bad ending go a little Shakespearean? I'm game. I like the quotes. Um, let's see. I think the sequel is Last Day of Spring, and then... Um, yeah, you can't see anything on my screen, but I'm digging through my... Spring Leaves No Flowers, I think, is the last one. And maybe there's more than three at this point. I don't know. All right, everybody's in. Everybody's in. Okay, let's get this situated. Um, gotta use me while I uh, figure out how to fit that to the screen. Okay, hopefully. I think that looks good. Got some... Uh, Peaceful, peaceful jams. Pardon me as I situate everything on my screen, because I got, like, the game here, I got the chat here, and then I have my other monitor that has all the, uh, streaming software open. So, let's, uh, adjust this to make it a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. Oh, bear with me for... Just a second. There we go. I think that looks good enough. Alright, so now we have... Oh. So is this a downloaded game series? Like an online browser kind of game? Yeah, Casey. So, um... Oh, thank you. Thank you for the money. Thank you for the donation. I always love when people do that. And random man, is that what you would like to be called? I just, you know, want to be want to be uh, mindful of using gendered terms because I know some people sometimes have not changed their YouTube usernames. <laughs> Dual screens, a woman after my own heart. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't finish my thought, but you can download this game for free if you just Google it. I think it's on Steam, and you can also download it from uh, uh, itch.io, is that how you pronounce that? Website with a bunch of, like, indie games. It's where where I get most of my games that I... It's where I got the uh, Ouija sleepover game I played last week, and where I ha I'm getting a few other games for future streams. Monday, April 1st. That's also on Google Play. Awesome. April Fool's Day. <laughs> I like the want, want, want. Today, the new era name was announced. Area comes from the Manyoshu and is meant to represent. It's the first time that the era name has been sourced from classical Japanese literature instead of news, 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 news. Thank you. That was getting annoying real fast. Everyone's just talking about the new era name. <laughs> now with realistic voiceover. <laughs> yep. <laughs> like, ooh, they must have paid, like, high-profile actors for that. Yeah, I was thinking that did remind me of Charlie Brown, too. Who cares? Not like every th anything's gonna change. The Emperor doesn't even do anything now. What's a new Emperor going to do? Hmm. Wonder what Haru's up to. <laughs> Yo. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you, Ro. That's so sweet. I love the little... I think that's a... Is that a fox or is it a dog? Whatever it is, it's cute. Is there news done by Animal Crossing? Yes. Ooh. The last day of Spring has four bad endings. Alright, try my best. It's up to y'all to help me on this journey. Did you see the news? There has to be something better on TV. Oh, here we go again. Hmm. Hmm. Guess not. Hmm. I love the beep sound effect. Oh, that's Prey Haru. Aw. Looks like Ditto from Pokemon. What's the news? The new era name. Oh, that. I saw. Stupid, right? 
Sounds like the name of an anime character. Like, we should just get rid of it entirely. So annoying. I don't know. I think it sounds pretty. <laughs> That's cute. Uh, of course Haru would like it. <laughs> I bet Minami likes it too. Such goody two-shoes. Ah, uh, thank you, Francisca. It's so sweet. Have you met up with Manami lately? Not since we had the picnic at Shinjuku. Gyoen? I'm pretty sure I pronounced that wrong. <sighs> feel like my lack of a being able to speak anything that isn't from America is showing. <sighs> picnic, huh? Haven't really talked to Manami since then. Why am I watching the news? This is so boring. Uh, no reason, just asking when I hang out later today. Interesting. Dinner with co-workers today since it's my first day. Alright, I hope that's going well. Oh yay, Haru has a job. Is that a watermelon head? Hmm. Digging, I'm digging these emojis. Right, Haru is a working adult now. And I like the, I like the chill music in the background. I feel like they, they... Got a little more budget on this one. It's weird how we're almost the same age, but I'm just a student and she's like a full-fledged member of society. <laughs> it's okay, Eric. I'm 30 and still in school. It's fine. Let me know more about your work later. You didn't tell me anything about it. It's not that interesting. Just tell me anyway. I want to know. I want to know too, Haru. Okay, after I get home then. I need to get back though since lunch break is over. <laughs> Bye! Hmm. What should I do today, then? Guess I should ask Minami if she's free. Nah, she's probably hanging out with her boyfriend. Anyway, but I don't really have anyone else I want to ask. Ugh. Guess I should just call her. Hmm, who is her? Beep, beep, beep. Hey, Amy. Elevator music. Hey, Erica. Hey, Minami. You free today? Actually, oh, I guess her was Minami. <laughs> Clearly, I can't put two and, two and two together. Actually, I was just about to call you to ask the same thing. Oh, cool. Do you want to go to Alouette? Sure, meet you there in 30. Okay, I'll see you soon. Beep. Guess she was free after all. Better change out of room clothes before heading out. I usually just call that PJs that I've been wearing since yesterday. Maybe Minami isn't here yet. I guess I could order first. Over here? Huh? That's a cute outfit. Over here, silly. Got us a table. Oh, thanks. I'm just gonna order first then. Actually, I already ordered us an afternoon tea set. I hope you don't mind. Not if you're paying. Haha. <laughs> My boyfriend paid, actually. He just left a bit earlier. He left? Manami, you didn't have to tell him to leave. He said he didn't want to get in the way of our girl talk. That's so. Why'd you want to meet up today, anyway? Alright. I wanted to ask you if you're free this weekend. Well, classes don't start next week, and I'm a boring hermit. Can relate. Being on winter break during a pandemic in the middle of middle of nowhere, southern Illinois. Can relate. So yeah, I'm free. Why? That's great. I want to surprise Haru for her birthday. Sure. When's her birthday? Uh, bye, Tyra. And I, as I wave to the camera. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining, and thanks for sharing all of your knowledge on your experiences in Japan. Sure, when's her birthday? Oh, that's today. You didn't know? I thought she would have told you. You two talk, bleh, you two talk so often lately. I, I skipped ahead. I assume they're talking about Haru. Well, she didn't. I guess she just didn't think to tell me. I'm sure she just forgot. She's busy with her new job. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess. Uh, Erica's heart has been hurt. I was planning to go out with her for dinner today, but she's going out with her coworkers. You're gonna have dinner together? Yep. I wanted to give her her present on her birthday. I'm planning on just dropping by her house later tonight. Could have, I don't know, invited me or something. <laughs> Are you in Illinois too, Zoe? <laughs> have you, I can't remember. Have it, did you say you've been to Japan too, Vanessa? I didn't exclude you on purpose. I just thought that Haru might be a bit tired after her first day, so I kept it to the two of us. Oh, Peoria. Okay. I think Haru would be... would really like it if you were there this weekend, though. Is that okay? Yeah, of course. Sorry for being weird. I hope I didn't make you feel left out. I'm fine. Can we just drop this topic? Are you really okay? I'm fine. Seriously. If you say so. It's like, saying I'm fine usually means anything but. <laughs> but maybe with Erica. She tries to be chill. I'm still thinking about what to do for Haro's birthday. Could you call me if you have any ideas? Yeah, of course. Also want to ask you, are you ready for classes? Bit nervous since we're in our third year now. Oh yeah, yeah. Visited once, know some of the language, and study a bit. Oh, that's cool, Vanessa. I want to visit one day. Fine. Freaked out, insecure, neurotic, emotional. I like that. Gonna have to store that one away in my brain, Casey. I spent way more time at the cafe than I planned. Do that every time I go to the cafe with somebody. I love Manami, but she can go on for hours. Hari's probably done work by now. Might as well send her a message. How was your first day being a real working adult? Also, even though you didn't bother telling me. Aww. Happy birthday. Maybe that sounds a bit too salty. No, that was perfect, Erica. Perfectly salty. It's totally cool that you didn't tell me. I know you have work and all. I don't think that makes it any better. Yeah, that sounded a little passive aggressive. Ugh, why do I even care? Let's see what's on then. Ugh. Cut. The Charlie Brown teachers again. Are adults? Is it all the adults? I think it's all the adults. Now let's take a closer look at the calligraphy of... People are still talking about the new era name. Who even cares? Is there any real news on? This is ridiculous. Don't you know, Erica? It's how the news works. They talk about something non-stop for a day, and then they never talk about it again. Unless it's a pandemic. Um... Yeah, the new era isn't going to start until May. I'm just going to take a nap. <laughs> Girl, no, don't quadruple text. That's a good point. Ah, oh, that was a good nap. No reply from Haru yet. Maybe she went straight to dinner with her coworkers without checking her phone. No, the message is on red. She's just ignoring me. She's probably not ignoring you, Erica. And she's eating dinner with her coworkers and all. Ugh, why am I being so needy? She doesn't like me at all. I suggest. Maybe that's Haru. Haru, unsent. Huh. Messages on red again, but still no reply. Is that like something you can do? Sorry, stamp, that's it. Her is acting weird. Of course, why wouldn't I be? <laughs> like, let's just ignore that. High five, squid. Okay, something is definitely up. And she's leaving me on red again. Yeah. 
I don't know if I've ever... Is that something you can do on, like, iPhones with the unsent message? I know, I feel like... I get stressed out when, uh... You see, like, the ellipsis like that, that's showing up on the screen where somebody's texting and then just pops up and goes away, pops up, goes away, and I'm like, what's going on? The, the, the tension. Maybe she's really just... Haru? Hi. Hey, how was work? That's great. Are you at dinner with your coworkers then? No. I didn't go. Why not? Sorry. Oh. What's wrong with Haru? She hung up. What is she? I can't talk about it on the phone. Sorry. Oh, did something bad happen? Oh, hope her coworkers didn't say anything awful. Me too. Was it someone at work? No, everyone's really nice. The work is fun too. It's mostly just sitting in front of a computer. Then what's wrong? Maybe I should just go over to her house. It's really stupid. Just tell me. Work was really great, it's just, it was my first day and I had to sign all these forms. Ah, uh, so that's it. I could use my own name for regular work stuff, but for the contract and everything. I had to fill it out with my legal name and my legal gender. I don't know, I just thought since I'm officially an adult today, wanted to do my job with my actual name and gender. Yeah. Everyone's talking about Rewa. Oh, I'm pronouncing that right. A new era with a new start. I just wish I could have a new start too. Like I said, it's really stupid. Wow, I sent a lot of messages. <laughs> Aww. I mean, Erica sent a lot of messages, too. I can't believe I was sulking about Haru's birthday earlier. I'm such an idiot. Haru, I'm gonna call you now. I think I'm free, but... Okay, we're going out then. Keep the day open. <laughs> you're a Haru Suzuki and you're an absolutely amazing woman. Aww. So just don't forget that, okay? I can't believe I just said that. Can't believe I just said that. I feel like somebody in a stupid TV drama. <laughs> okay, I just need to cool my head a bit, that's all. Oh wait, Manami, I need to stop her before she goes to Hara's place. Hara's probably no state to see somebody right now. Hi again, Erica, what is it? Oh, excuse me. Apparently it's, uh, you know, 7.30 past my bedtime, I guess. Ah, oh, I mean, I was just thinking that we could both surprise Haru with presents on the weekend. Oh, that sounds great. I wait until we all meet up then. Do you have any ideas on what to do? Actually, about that. Since you arranged your own birthday trip last time, I thought maybe I could do the planning this time to surprise both of you. Really? That would be so nice, but it's such short notice and all. It won't be too much trouble for you? It's fine. I want to do it. Just let me know if you want me to prepare anything. Got it. Talk to you later just said all that but what am I gonna do whatever I'll work it out her is feeling down so I need to cheer up and what better way to do that than a surprise birthday party can start planning the logistics and all tomorrow for now bedtime lots of sleeping have you even made a decision for myself yet I don't know I don't think I have. Hmm. Okay, I have until the weekend to plan everything. Hmm, 
looks like people are talking about coming out at work. Uh, I can relate. I think I replied to a comment of yours earlier, Melissa, that I agree. Coming out at work was probably one of the hardest things. <laughs> I'm gonna excuse myself. Okay, Cass. Aw. Have a good night too, Cass. Thanks for coming. Hope to see you again in the future. I should probably at least ask Haru if there's anything she wants to do. About this weekend. I'm gonna call you now. You could go anywhere, where would you go? Confused rock. Or like, if you could do anything you wanted, what would you want to do? Are you asking about places to go? Anywhere's fine. Ugh, that's not helpful. I don't know where people usually go on weekends. I don't go out much. I just want to know where you want to go. Like maybe somewhere you've always wanted to go, but just never got around to, or something you want to do, but haven't had the chance to. Oh, this isn't getting anywhere. Maybe I could think of some options and let Haru choose. What do people usually do on their birthday? With a regular uni student's budget? That's a great question. Figure something out. Get to work soon, right? Talk to you later. Okay, try to think about this more. Bye! Birthday activities. And that's how I always read by <laughs> where my brain goes. Birthday activities. Let's see what the internet suggests. Why not ask us? We're the internet. A page titled, What Do Women Want to Do on Their Birthdays? Hmm. If you put, like, lesbian in there, you're going to get very different answers. Who do you want to spend it with? More than half choose their boyfriends' husbands. Boo! Doesn't really apply here. So hetero. What do you want your boyfriend husband to give you? That is so true when you Google that stuff, though. It's always about, like, what are you going to do with your man? I'm like, nothing. Because I don't have a man and I don't plan to. So it is awful. <laughs> does have a list of popular birthday activities. Go to a day spa. Visit a theme park. A hotel... Hotel buffet. A romantic dinner at night. I mean, I'm all about going to, like, a sushi buffet. I mean, don't judge me for su buffet sushi, but, you know, it's it's affordable on a college budget. <laughs> One of the only things I miss in this town during the pandemic. Apparently the buffet's open again, but I have no desire to go. I don't know why I'm talking about that. These probably won't be that expensive either. Minami and I can chip in half to cover Haru. Oh, I'm so sorry, Hazel Fudge. That's awful. <laughs> 2020 date idea at Zoom movie? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, date idea Zoom movie or online video games. <laughs> Let's see what Haru thinks. Spa, theme, hotel, buffet. What do you think? Hmm. Because I've never gone to a spa before. Want to go then? I don't know. I probably couldn't. Why not? Uh, you know. Ah, uh, right. Guess a spa may have the same issues a hot spring does for trans people. Yeah. It's a big reason why I've never had, like, a legit spa day. Had a massage. And, you know, that was only, uh, acceptable because the person who did it was also trans. Otherwise it would have been super stressful. Do you want to go to a spa? I'd like to. Awesome. It's a date then. <laughs> As in like a date to go to the spa. Ha ha ha. Because we set the day for the weekend. So it's a date we set. Ha ha. Awkward. That's cute. Yeah. Right to work state. Oh, you're in Kentucky. Yeah. It was right to work in a... Uh... Right to work in Florida, I believe, as well. At least I thought it was. I actually don't remember if that's the case now. 
Stop being weird, Erica. You have to have a birthday to thin to plan. The heart wants what the heart wants, and sometimes the heart's weird. It's okay, Erica. Let's see what spas there are around here. Hmm, it's actually quite a few. Didn't realize this was such a big thing. Come to think of it, I have never gone to a spa either. I have them sorted into categories. Oh, we have the first poll the audience. What category should we look at? We feeling, uh, feeling frugal? We want to be relaxed? Or we're feeling like we should treat ourselves? I want more and more that there is something. The nightmare. Ugh. Reasonable prices. And I see serious conversation in the chat. I'm sorry to interrupt with a spa question. It feels very inappropriate. <laughs> so we got relaxing, reasonable prices, pamper. Pamper, that means like treating yourself, so I assume expensive, like all the bells and whistles. Uh, so let's see, we got reasonable. Got three for relaxing, three for pamper. All right, all right. We need tiebreaker. Relaxing and pampering are tied. Who's gonna break it? Indulge. That that's that's a better way to say it. <laughs> um. Any last votes? All right, pamper it is. It's a bit expensive, but. Haru's worth it. Let's find a spa day with some fancier facilities. I didn't know this hotel had a spa too. So you could get the buffet and the spa. Look at that. Maybe all fancy hotels have their own spas. Who knows, I've never gone to a fancy hotel. The spa is called Le Chateau. Oh wait, <laughs> that's a soft CH. Did you pronounce it Chateau? <laughs> Why do people have to name their fancy things in foreign languages? True. I don't even know what it's supposed to mean. Anyway, let's look at the plans. Might as well get the price shock over with. <laughs> oh no. I sense there's a lot of price shock here. That's a good point, Casey. Spending more to make it comforting, relaxing. Wait, this is already more than half of- oh god. <laughs> 1800 yen. Quick, Google, how much is 1800 yen in USD per person? Oh, it's 18,000, not 1800. 38,000 before tax. Oh my god. Let's take a look at what the plan includes, at least. 90 minute oil. Well, we just fast-tracked this for the bad ending. No! I hope not. <laughs> 90 minute oil and aroma treatment with massage for head, neck, back, legs, and feet. That sounds nice. I feel relaxed just thinking about it. Also comes with tea time afterwards, so that sounds nice. The tea room is on the 12th floor. The view of the Tokyo Sky Tree. 180, okay. That is a lot. I mean, that would a lot to me. <laughs> tea time includes- wow, I can't even read the name of this tea. It includes a cake set from the hotel, though, and the photo looks delicious. It still costs 18,000 yen per person. 27,000 yen before tax. Plan does sound amazing, though. Oh, do I want to look at more spas? So if we go with this... You know, well, Haru will have a good birthday, but then Erica will have to drop out of school because she'll go bankrupt. Um, what do we think? We gonna check out more options? We gonna be like, I want it to be nice, but that's a little too nice. Or does I'm good mean we're sticking with this or are we ditching the spa plan altogether? Gee, $300. Yeah, yeah that hurt. That's ex... <laughs> That's a lot of money to spend on just like a day excursion in my opinion, but I don't know. Maybe I'll think differently once I'm finally no longer a student and I have a big girl job. 290 bucks, that's not terrible, but... Alright, any votes? 
I mean, I'm, I'm getting some sense of, uh, check out more, more options, yeah. That's what I'm leaning towards, too. So I'll just be like, Groupon, and I won't tell them, no. <laughs> Look at a different category. Which category? Oh, did we choose the pamper? Is that is that what happened? Yeah, that's what happened. So I'm gonna go relaxing, since that was our second place option. Maybe that's gonna be like, in between. Hair is stressed out, so a spa with relaxation package would be good. And that's, that's what I would want. But I mean, why would you want to go to a spa that's not relaxing? Maybe massages or saunas or something? Let's see what the options are. This one sounds nice. <laughs> go for the literal broke. Oh. Hi, Dark Nico. I don't know if I had seen you before if you just showed up, but thanks for joining. Looks like a very girl's day out, though. What is souffle even supposed to mean here? Looks super relaxing, though. Bath source from natural hot springs and jet baths. Hmm, that's a good point. Relaxing might get you something out in the country. Need something with the greatest view of Mount Fuji. It's got bath source from natural hot springs and jet baths, too. Looks like they have an area inside where you can apply mud masks. The stone sauna uses aroma oils. That sounds really nice. This is starting to sound expensive, too. Cafe area looks super cute as well. They have hammocks and bean bags. Ooh. Looks like they have lots of magazines and books for you to read. The comics and board games, too. Oh, this actually sounds fun. They even have massage and treatment options, even though you have to pay separately for them. Okay. It's actually not that bad. Oh. That is much cheaper. That includes the stone sauna. If we want to book a room, it's more expensive, though. Plus, yeah. Looks like the only rooms are hotel-style rooms. Probably meant for people who want to take a nap afterwards. Styles and treatment options are all pretty expensive. Cheapest one is 3000 This is still a lot cheaper, even if you do all-inclusive. Maybe I'll just read comics. That's... Overall, this place looks really fun. I bet Haro would really enjoy it. So what do y'all think? Yeah, fourteen dollars. That's what I was thinking based off of your translations. Ah, Merry Christmas, Dark Nika. Thank you. Two other spas blast metal music. <laughs> oh God, this sounds quite good and reasonably priced. I I'm leaning towards I'm good. My wallet is purring. <laughs> I was like, this is something I don't mind putting on my credit card. All right, we're going for it. I think I've decided. Only if it includes a cat. Ah, oh, that should have been an option, going to like a cat cafe. <clears throat> My voice cracked a little there. Oh, so uh, we're going with spa cafe souffle. I think that's the... Le Chateau is the bougie one. Spa cafe souffle. That's a cute name. Sure, Haru will love it. Just need to book the date then. Should probably check in with Minami. You can do, like, everything at that spa for cheaper than the other place, like, half the price. Should probably check in with Minami. I bet that other spa is always on sale. It's one of those things where they try to make you think you're saving money, but it's actually always on sale. I should probably check with Minami to see what she thinks first. Let's give her a call. Cat cafes, yeah! I actually went to a cat cafe my first time. Uh, I went to one in St. Louis. Like, I think it was back in like January, maybe? It was so fun. So many kitties, it was so cute. Hi Erica, did you decide on a place? I did, there's this cute place called Spa Cafe Souffle. Oh, I think I saw it in a magazine. Must be good. Is it a place with the hammocks? Yeah. <laughs> no other spa has hammocks. <laughs> I wanted to go over and see the magazine feature. Perfect timing then. It's a little bit far off since it's out of the prefecture, though. Hmm. Yeah, the closest cat cafe to me is two hours away. Maybe, yeah, two, two and a half hours. 
Well, it's probably, probably not even open. Have to wake up early and go then. I think they have a lot of different options, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Lawn menu for massages and treatments. <laughs> Spa with a hammock. Take my money. That'd be really helpful, actually. Are you free? I need to stop clicking before I read. If you want to meet up at Alouette, guess we're going to the cafe again. Beep. So I've chosen a location, at least. <laughs> What's up, Paul? <laughs> Hero apologizing for. What's up? <laughs> no reply. What's up with her? Something wrong? She's probably, like, shy. It's nothing to ignore me. I was just thinking. We don't really need- Oh, don't be that way, Haru. I'm sure it's a lot of hassle. It's nothing special. Seriously, what's up with her? Does she not want a birthday party or something? Maybe I should call it off. Um... Well, I guess the options are... Hmm. I feel like this is the same option. I mean, I kind of just want to say, of course not. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to do. It's her birthday, of course we should do something. It'd be really weird if we didn't. Happens every year. <laughs> that's how birthdays work. You've had 19 already, you should know the drill. I know, but... I just don't usually do much for my birthday. Just dinner with the nummy. Maybe Haru just doesn't want to make a big event out of it. I mean, she did say she was interested in the spa. Since it's always been just her and Minami before, maybe it'd be better to call this off. Hmm. I mean, I'm tempted to just go with it. What do you all think? And don't put me on the spot and ask me to say French. Oh. Hi, other Chloe. I mean, I can say, like, what, je m'appelle Chloe? <laughs> Vous avez à la chateau? That was probably not proper French. Go with it. I can read French, but I, I'm not good at thinking in French. Go with it, go with it. Do it. Yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah, cause, I mean, I feel like at least a good bit of the time when people are like, no, you don't have to do anything. They're just being nice. They will appreciate it. Well, this year you can do something different. I mean, you turn 22. You're an adult now. That's how it works. It really isn't too much trouble. It's totally fine, Haru. Oh, okay then. Anyway, that's enough work for today. <laughs> I need to catch up on all the series I'm watching before school starts again. Ah, the life. Go with it. Trying not to judge your French. Oh, you should totally judge my French. <sighs> oh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to go by myself. Thanks for looking through the massage and treatment menu with me. I think it'd be fun to play some of the board games, too. They have so many that I don't know. Nami. I feel like... It's taking a while to get to the spa in this game. <laughs> Thanks. Har is so shy and doesn't want to bother anyone. Yeah. Hey, Kelly. Thanks for popping in. I don't think I've played Monopoly, actually. I have playing cards at home, though. Figures. Definitely not playing Monopoly this weekend, though. I'll let you choose what to play. Do you want to book? Sorry, my phone's vibrating. I think someone's calling me. Hi, her boyfriend. Where he calls her all the time. It's sweet of him, I guess. Sorry, Erica. 
Can you make the booking yourself? I completely forgot that my boyfriend wanted to meet up today. I can cancel if you want me to, though. No, it's fine. I can handle things from here. I got this. Call me if you need anything. Okay, I guess I should make the booking then. Let's give them a call. Beep. <laughs> Hey, Marty. I'm glad you could stop by. It's been a hot minute. And other Chloe, this is a cute game. That's what it is. <laughs> Erica is planning a birthday spa day for Haru, who is a beautiful trans woman. I'd like to make a reservation for three while our rooms can be booked for day use. There are only two beds per room. How many rooms would you like to book? Just the one. One room then. Would you like to make reservations for massages or treatments? Be a guest, seven to nine. Yes, I would love to. New Year's Eve show. Yes, yes, yes. That sounds like a ton of fun. Please note that we only offer massages and treatments for women. Oh, about that. One of us is a trans woman, but can she still get the treatment? One of us is a trans woman, but can she still get the treatment? Oh god. Did we make a bad choice? Ugh. I don't know, treat her like any other woman? Like, jeez. Ugh. So I must go and save Christmas Eve. Got into an argument with my girlfriend. Don't want to spend it in my dark room. Thanks for cheering me. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm so glad you could come. Not trained. What, you, what are you on about? But, would you like to make a reservation? No, it's fine. This place is a no-go. We going back to the drawing board? Alright, well. That was disappointing. everyone just that is a great question Erica what should I do told her I would deal with it but I no <laughs> going great oh no I'm leaning towards saying uh, maybe maybe because I feel like Haru will take it We'll put all the burden on herself. Yeah, you're right, Nyan. We should have um, <laughs> gone for the expensive one. <laughs> yeah, I feel sad now, too. So maybe, definitely not. So don't keep her in the dark, Vanessa. Is that a definitely not vote? We got a maybe. No. She cannot know about the shit. I feel that. Yeah, I agree, Francisca, that she would take it as her own fault. Yeah, I'm gonna go with maybe. Wait, did I click the wrong button there? <laughs> In case it doesn't work out. Or would definitely not. I don't know. Maybe I misinterpreted. What is it? Should I really tell her? Ah. Well, we're we're going with maybe I shouldn't. We have an honesty as best. Yeah. For a second, yeah. Okay. 
I'm gonna go with maybe I shouldn't. I hate these kind of choices in these games because it's like these people's lives are in my hand. Except it's all virtual and silly. But. Uh. Uh. Okay, we got one and one. Ask y'all again. Give me, give me a vote. Give me a vote. She can't blame herself for other people sucking. Yeah, I agree. She shouldn't do that, but she probably will. Yeah, morals. Tisk. Okay. Any other votes? Looks like, um, shouldn't is slightly winning. Alright. Sorry, Vanessa. Looks like shouldn't. <laughs> oh, we got a few more. Looks like shouldn't still won. Maybe shouldn't. It's probably a bad idea. Oh. Uh, that went, like, completely in the opposite direction. No, I can't give up yet. Look at the site again and check out some other places, but I'll do that tomorrow. I think I need a break. Oh, I feel like this is going to be like... She's not going to be able to find anything. Uh, nothing. Pray called every single listen. Oh, no. Oh, exactly. If there's anything I can do. You can have your own spa day. Just the three of you at your place. Have a girls' night. I told her I'd work things out like I could be her hero or something. I'm so naive. Hmm, really don't want to disappoint her. What should I do? It's like a retro video game music. I should tell her that we need to change her plans, but I really don't want to. She'll at least pick up the phone, though. Hey, Minami. Hi, Erica. Sorry I had to leave early yesterday. Did you make the reservation? About that. Didn't work out. The reservation didn't work out. Why not? Haru's gender. Maybe they just didn't understand. I can go talk to them in person. Don't, Minami. I called dozens of places today and I got the same answer from everyone. But... I think we should probably plan something else. Well, I'm sure Haru wouldn't mind. Yeah, but that makes it worse. I just wanted to do something special for her birthday. Since she had a rough time at her first day of work and all. She did then. She didn't talk to me about it. Yeah, she probably didn't want to worry you. She seemed so happy when I suggested we go to a spa. I'll call you back when I figure something out. You don't have to figure it all out. You don't have to figure it all out in yourself, Erica. Can't talk. I really want to tell her that the spa thing didn't work out. I don't know why people care so much anyway. Why is it so hard to find a spa that'll just let three women go together? Great questions. Here I am complaining about this one thing, though. When Hara must go through this every single day. Yeah? She already said that she probably wouldn't be able to go when I first asked. Hmm. This is sad. Hope we're not moving towards a bad ending here. Somebody, I don't remember who, somebody said that there was four bad endings, apparently. I want to restart the game and give her something she likes and don't get disappointed. Yes! Isn't there any way her can enjoy spa? I guess I can look up spa alternatives. What would that be? Instead of a spa, go to a hot spring to relax. She's gonna have the exact same problems. Come to think of it, the staff at Ryokin Man... Minami booked were really accommodating. I guess that isn't the norm, though. Super Sento is a good cheap alternative to- nope! <laughs> Super Sento is out too. Is there anything at all? If you can't afford a spa, try and you make your own spa at home! Oh, look at that! Huh, spa at home. You can recreate a spa experience in your own home. Oh, this actually sounds okay. Buy spa goods. It's like they read our minds. Buy spa goods and use them whenever you want to. Here are some treatments you can do yourself. Hmm, that's doable. This too. This isn't quite the same as a spa, but this might not be too bad. 
and it'll probably be a lot more comfortable for Haru. Let's see what Minami thinks. Do we ever get a good ending? Oh, Chloe. <laughs> Let's make our own spa, huh? I mean, we can just do a home spa. Oh, that would work. Instead of a girl's day out, we can do a girl's day in. I mean, honestly, I feel like girl's days in are more fun. Cause you can just hang out, be lazy all day, eat a bunch of junk food, watch movies. I mean, th this is me talking about what I would do. And, you know, you don't have to pay just to go to a building. And face masks at home. Go shopping for some stuff too. Yes, it is about the company, not the place. This sounds good. I'll check out what stuff I have at home. We need to place to do this though. I guess my place is okay. It's a bit cramped though. It's cozy. This is so exciting. I'm gonna go check out what I can bring. Beep. I should probably also tell Haru about the change in plans. Good thing I didn't tell her I decided on a place. Well, maybe you did decide on a place, your place. How should I tell her though? Hmm. What do y'all think? Should we say it was too expensive? Or just don't tell her? <laughs> Maybe Manami's place, but no boyfriend. Alright, any votes? Don't tell her the details or say it was too expensive. I feel like... But either of those could be poorly received. I feel like Haru would feel bad if I said it was too expensive. Yeah, no details. Too expensive. No details. No details. Is that deta give her the details or no details, Casey? Very important question here. No details. Alright, I'm gonna go with no details because that looks like it's almost everyone for that. She doesn't need to know what happened. I just tell her that I decided a home spa would be more fun. Hmm, that's a good way to put it. Hey, Haru. I thought about it, and rather than going out to some random place, I thought it would be more fun. Spa day at my place. What do you think? <laughs> She's at work. She probably can't respond now. I like that emoji. Hmm... That is true, Naim. Puts the, uh, blame on them. I mean, honestly, some of the most fun birthdays I've had have just been at somebody's house having a small to get together of friends, so. Spring cleaning! Ugh, this place is filthy. Making me think I need to clean my place? <laughs> Alright, that'd be me. Why do I do this to myself? Same. This place looks so organized. <laughs> I like the response. Ugh, it looks so organized. I can mess it up again after Har's birthday thin though. Beep beep beep. Is it really okay? I don't want you to go through. Th oh, come on, Haru. You have to prep everything. Hmm. I say we just commit to the home spa. That's... That's what I say. But what do y'all think? Another option? I mean, this is the safe option. But I don't know, will there be better options in our future if we click yeah? I feel like can do this. Commit. Yep. Alright, we got three for no. I can do this. Any more? Any more votes? Any more votes? Can do this. Home spa! Can do. Alright, that's what we're doing. I can do this. Hara's just being Haru and trying not to be bothered. I mean, probably some truth. Never really done a home spa before, so it'll be fun. Test run at home. Are you sure? Yeah, don't worry, I've got it handled. 
Okay. But let me know if you change your mind. I won't. <laughs> I cleaned my apartment for this. That's a really big deal, just so you know. It's been a long time since I've gone to a friend's home. Don't expect much. My whole apartment is like half the size of Minami's room. That's fine. Looking forward to it. Aww. I'll send you my address later. Still need to prep, though. Bye! <laughs> Sometimes I think Haru's messages... Haru messages more in stamps than, like, actual words. I think this room is acceptable enough to show to other people now, though. Eh, who cares if it's clean? You know, if they if they if they want to be around you, they'll deal with the mess. Just need to buy stuff tomorrow, and then everything should be good. Good job, me. I think I earned myself the right to watch a few other episodes. That you have. That you have. Ooh, ordering a pizza. That sounds good. Definitely watched too many episodes. Always happens. What do I need to buy again? Let's check the list I made this morning. Scented candles, herb tea, cups, since I only own like one mug. Also, a salt scrub or something fancy like that. I think I should be able to get everything here. Yeah, has a good variety. Let's start looking around then. Very, very common music. I don't know how many candles we'll need. I guess I'll just buy a set. Hmm. Or I need something to light them too. Hmm. It's my gas stove. Yeah, it's probably not the best idea to use a gas stove to light a candle. They have a lot of weird teas, but most of these taste awful though. <laughs> this one has pictures of flowers on it. That's very spa-like, I guess. In the basket it goes. These glass cups look cute too, so I'll just grab these. I want to see them! Ah, <laughs> uh, good night, Francisca. Thanks for coming. So there's sugar scrubs and salt scrubs. No idea which is better, though. The sugar one is peppermint scented. Nice. The salt one has coconut oil, though, which also sounds nice. There you go. When in doubt, just buy them all. Okay, candles, tea, cups, salt scrub, and I need pizza and a movie. It's probably gonna make for a pretty weak spa day though. Maybe I should get something extra. Yes. Manami said she's burning face masks, so something other than that. What else did I get? What's a face roller? What do y'all think? Definitely cucumbers. Nail polish. Or maybe a face roller. Somebody tell me what a face roller is. Do I know what it is and I call it something else? Is there a horrible fire bad ending? I hope not. <laughs> All right, cucumbers, nail polish, roller. It's a small roller made from jade. Oh, interesting. I'm assuming the cucumbers are like to put on your eyes because that's what people do for some reason. Or to make fancy cucumber water, that's what I would do. All right, we have any votes? Nail polish seems, seems, you know, Nail polish, nail polish, cucumber, face roller is like a massager. I guess it is. So it looks like we have, I say cucumbers, nail, <laughs> yeah, it's not very nice to call Haru's hands manly. We don't know that. We're going nail polish. Manicures feel like a very spa thing to do. Now I think about it, I don't think I've ever seen Haru with nail polish on. Get some more standard colors then. I 
I just put in the order for the cake. The cake. All right, Ahara's birthday cake. Thanks. We're going over tomorrow, and then we can set everything up. Mommy, we're doing spa day, not a school field trip. Things will go more smoothly if we have a schedule. Fine, if it'll make you happier. What time do you want to come over? Hara's coming over in the afternoon. I should get there in the morning, since there's only one bathroom. While Hara's using the salt scrub, we can prepare the cake. Oh, like a surprise sort of thing. Nice. And after we eat the cake, we can give Haru her birthday presents. Great, that sounds... Oh. I totally forgot to get Haru a present. Oh, well, you did all this prep for the spa day. That's a present already. Be weird if you have a present. And I don't. Should I not give my present then? No, that's not. Schedule is perfect, Minami, but I'll call you back later. I need to think of something for Haru's present. I mean, the spa day is like a present, but yeah. Such an idiot. How could I forget Haru's birthday present? What would Haru want for her birthday, though? I guess I know what Haru would want, but it's not something I can just buy in a store. Couldn't even get her a day at the spa. Yeah, no, that's not really the time for moping. Let's think of a birthday present. I figured it was probably a joke, Chloe. <laughs> and thank you. Been growing this hair out for a long time. There's no point in getting a present that Haru could buy herself. Those are something that she can't get that I can actually get her. I don't know. Like, HRT. <laughs> Maybe the internet can help me again. Present for transgender women. How about a wallet for your cool transgender friend? Is that really an online article? Like, only the first result has anything to do with presents. The next results are just a lot. Two results about wash what restrooms trans people should be using. What pronouns you should use? That's important. Just wanted some present ideas. Thanks for nothing, internet. I guess I have to figure out something on my own, huh? <laughs> Message from Haru. <laughs> I, I might have a cold. I don't want to get you or Minami sick. Hope her new job's not tiring out too. If it's just a cold, it should be okay though. A spa day would actually be some good rest. I'm just gonna go and say ask how bad her cold is. Gonna just jump ahead there. Probably be better for her to get it anyway. Sweet things, I guess. Okay, I'll buy some sweet snacks. Actually, maybe I could ask what her wants for her birthday. Oh, you don't have to get me anything. That is a very horror response. Just answer the question. <laughs> I really want anything. An ID with my real name and gender on it, maybe. Haha, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I know that's not what you meant. Sorry. I made things weird, didn't <laughs> Bye. An ID, huh? Can't really do anything about that without, I don't know, petitioning the government. It's not like something one person like me can change, especially not in a day. Guess I'll just do what I can. <laughs> you should do it, Vanessa. Get back into it. Oh, look at that. Those colors weren't there before, I don't think. The little rainbow pictures. Sure, it's no hotel spa, but it will do. I scattered some rose petals in the bathroom, and it looks really cute. Set up the oil diffuser, too. Thank your mom for me, too. It's really nice to let, for her to let us use all this. She said it's all stuff she had lying around. Oh, oh. When I told her we're doing a spa day with Haru, she just gave me all this. She said it'd help create the atmosphere. Oh, so that's where they're from. Okay, why does she have canvas oil paintings lying around in the house anyway? She collects art. 
But I mean, this better not be some really expensive art thing. <laughs> Remind me to be really careful when taking that down. Really don't have to worry. Oh, my phone is vibrating. It's Haru. Sorry, do you mind if I take it? No, go ahead. Oh no. Haru says she can't make it. Guess it got worse. Boo. We'll have arranged to meet up on a day, then suddenly she'll be sick, or she'll have some other thing come up. I think she gets anxious about meeting people sometimes. Even you? You've known her forever. Yes, but I think that makes it worse sometimes. I've known Haru since before. Before what? Oh. She still felt like she had to hide who she was back then. even with me, so even now I think it can be hard for Haru to be completely honest with me. I guess that's one reason. Could you talk to Haru for me? I think she's more honest with you than with me. Alright, I'm gonna head back then. See you, Minami. See you. Boo, this is sad. Hey. What should I even say? Minami thinks you're lying about being sick. Probably not the best start. <laughs> Alright, I just want to check, but is there some reason you don't want to do a spa day today? Guess all I can do is wait for a reply. Sorry, I just can't. She just can't. Well, that's a start. Watermelon person says that's okay. Oh, I had to click. Sorry. What did Minami tell you? She just said you weren't feeling well. Is that really all? I'm sorry if this wasn't something you wanted. Did you want to do something else for your birthday? What? No, that's not. I just... It's not your fault, Erica. It's not Minami's. It's just me. It's always me. Haru, sorry, I just couldn't go. Sorry, you two did all this for me, and I just ruined everything. Haru, calm down. It's fine. It's fine, okay? Haru, I just want to know what's wrong. We can scrap the spa day, okay? But could you come over so we can talk? I'm worried about you. Is Manami there? She left earlier. Okay. I'll come over soon. Ooh. Guess all I can do is wait then. No point in just sitting here, though. Maybe I'll eat something. Got plenty of tea for one. Ohara's birthday cake is still in the fridge. On second thought, I'm not really that hungry. Um, if there's an entire cake just waiting to be eaten in the fridge, I would totally start eating that. The door's open. Oh, that's a cute outfit. Hey, Erica. Hey. I don't have to look so down. It's okay. I'm really sorry. Why? You did all this for me and I... Hey. If it's too hard to talk, we can just not do that. I bought snacks. We can have snacks. I have herb tea, too. Thanks, Erica. I feel a bit better now. Why? I didn't do anything. I don't know. I wish I weren't like this. Like what? I really was looking forward to the spa day with you, too. I was. <laughs> But for some reason this whole week, my head just kept telling me to find a way out of it. I just knew it was going to go badly. At first I thought it'd be nice to go to a spa, but then I remembered there's no way I'd be able to go to a spa. Then when you said you changed plans to a home spa, at first I felt relieved since it would be in a private place. Then I got all anxious about it again. So I told Manami I was sick and couldn't go. Oh, Haru. I didn't realize. Is that why you kept messaging this week? Asking me if I wanted to cancel? Yeah. I just wasn't sure I was ready for a spa. But you were okay with the Ryokin, right? In the end I was, but... I only went in the bath with you. 
This time Anami would be here too, and I didn't know what we were going to do for the spa. Sometimes you take baths at spas, right? I just didn't want her to see me. When my body doesn't look the way I feel it should look. Right. I know, it's stupid. It's not stupid. Anami's known me forever. She knows that I haven't that I haven't had surgery. But I still it's Manami, so I just Haru. It's not stupid at all. Thank you for telling me, Haru. Means a lot to me. Mm hmm. Let's call Manami and figure out something else to do for your birthday, okay? Okay. Thanks, Erica. No problem. You know, we can just skip all the bad stuff. Huh? I still have herb tea and face masks and stuff. You've come all the way here. Want to try it out? Mm-mm. Never done any of this spa stuff either, and I'd feel really silly doing it by myself. Want to have a mini spa day, just the two of us? I'd like that. Aww. Sorry if I get any on your skin, okay? I don't really paint nails much. It's okay. I'm sure you'll do a better job than I can. Is this color okay? I don't really know what color would be good. Anything you think would be good is fine. Okay, then I'm gonna go with this color. What do you think? It's cute. You like it then? I do. I've never painted my nails before. I don't usually do my nails either. It's so much work and they just get chipped. One of the reasons why I don't do mine. I end up getting impatient and then smudge them and get angry and take it all off. Probably won't use this again, so if you want, you can keep this manicure set. Thanks, Erica. I'll try painting my nails myself sometime. <laughs> that Erica is wholesome and smooth AF. She is in this one. I feel refreshed. Yeah, that was fun. You feeling a bit better now? Yeah, thanks, Erica. Don't worry about it. Sorry, it's not as fancy as a real spa, though. I guess the spas you contacted didn't work out then. Ah! <laughs> the subject comes up again. What do y'all think? I'm gonna ask y'all. I'm leaning towards actually just being honest this time. And just saying, yeah. But if we have votes for dot dot dot, we can go with that. <sighs> Patiently wait. We have a yeah, we have a dot, we have a yeah. Okay, two to one, any more votes? Yeah, she already knows. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, it is. Yeah, sorry. Why are you apologizing? It's not like it's your fault. Hmm. I don't blame them. Legally, they could get into trouble if they let me in. But Haru, you're legally not a woman. Boo. It's just how it is. I probably wouldn't have been comfortable going to a spa anyway. I mean, the staff wouldn't have been comfortable with my body. I'm not even comfortable with my body. It's a really good thing that it didn't work out. This is really fun though, Erica. Thank you for preparing everything. I just wish I could have done more. I didn't think that there would be any issues with making a booking with a spa. I didn't realize that. Just didn't get it. Don't blame yourself, Erica. I'm happy you tried even if you didn't think it wouldn't work. Even if I did think it wouldn't work. How are you not just angry all the time? I'd be furious with everything if I were you. Yep, unfortunately you get used to it. I know some people can get angry at every bad thing that happens to them and they fight to make things better. Really thankful for everything they do. But it just gets to be so much. And I can't do it. Not all the time. Haru. I mean, all over the news, people talking about Rua, the new era. We're talking about the era changing and what that might change for everyone, but nothing's changing for me. Oh. And the Supreme Court upheld the law that trans people need to be sterilized to change their legal gender. It's just this January. Sure, they said this law might become outdated as society changes, but are they changing the law? No. 
so I can't change my legal gender. And even if I did, I still wouldn't be able to get married to the person I love. So what if a couple of words have something similar to marriage? You're gay couples now. They're only mild in those words. They're not really recognized as marriages. Everywhere I go, I feel like I'm being turned away. Uh... <sighs> can't go to men's spaces because I obviously don't belong there either. It just makes me too anxious to even to even go on a spa trip with my friends. Because society keeps telling me that I'm not that I'm not really a woman. But then what the hell am I supposed to be? Oh no, she's crying. There we go. I'm so sorry. I didn't know. I just want to live my life like everyone else. But I'm not even allowed to do that. Sorry, I'm gonna hold your hand now. What? Sorry, Haru. I'm so stupid. I thought I understood how hard it was. But I didn't. Not even close. Every time I thought I'd got what it was like to be transgender, I didn't get it at all. Hmm. For your birthday, I thought I could help and make things better. But I couldn't. I'm so sorry. Erica, you've already done more than enough. I couldn't even book a spa for your birthday after you specifically said you'd like to go to one. No, I mean, when we first met. I was a bit scared of you. Scared? You're really blunt and asked a lot of questions, and you made me feel really uncomfortable, to be honest. Look at that, Haru being more forthright. But when you met me... You weren't disturbed or disgusted, even though you're a bit clumsy about it sometimes. <laughs> You've always tried your best to support me. Sometimes it doesn't work out. That's okay. I'm used to it. Mm, you're right, Vanessa. This is sad but sweet. <laughs> but it means so much to me to even just have one more person who accepts me as who I am. Haru? Erica, would you look at me? Please? And then Haru closes her eyes. What? Thank you for being my friend. Haru. I kind of want to kiss you right now. Oh. What? I... I don't know. Sorry, that just slipped out of my mouth. I don't know what I'm saying. Somebody please shut me up right now. <laughs> this is adorable. Do you want snacks? I have snacks. I'm gonna go get snacks. I hope Haru doesn't run away. Erica, wait. Did you mean that? I don't know. Yes, you did. I think I did. Erica? You know I like... You like Manami, I know. We've had this conversation before. But you still mean what you said? I don't know, okay? <laughs> I just... I don't really know what I want. <laughs> What I do know is, I was kind of hurt when I heard about your birthday from Manami. And not from you. And when you said that you didn't want Manami to see you, like you are now, I kind of didn't like it. When you smiled at me earlier, I felt really happy, so I just spoke without thinking. Erica, I know you like Manami. You can just, like, ignore everything. Oh no! But you mean all of what you said? Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, is she happy cry I hope that's happy crying. What? Why are you crying? I just never thought somebody could actually like me that way. Mm, that's way too real. I'm so broken in so many ways, so why would anyone ever want to be attracted to me? Try my best. I would probably be crying if I was uh, playing this by myself. Can't cry on camera. You're so unbecoming of me. <sighs> Sorry, y'all, for picking such an emotional game. Although we probably kind of suspected this going in. But it just feels that way sometimes. So thank you, Erica. You're welcome, I guess. But I'm sorry. I like Manami. 
I know that. You can s Oh. Like I said, I don't really know what I want, okay? So I can just keep being friends like before. Do you want to? Of course I do. And I'd like that too. Okay, glad that's settled. Alright, I still have to give you your birthday present. Be right back. Woo! Oh, I'm glad you all are enjoying this. <laughs> Here, happy birthday, Haro. What is it? The whole point of wrapping a present is so that you can wrap it and find out. I love that. It's okay if I wrap it here. Yeah, go ahead. What is it? This is very taped. I'm not good at this kind of stuff. No, I didn't. <laughs> I'm just making a comment. Just open the present. So I know it's not actually usable since it's not the real thing, but I thought that's adorable. I love that. Just to have, I guess. I don't know, this is probably really stupid. I love it, Erica. Thank you. It should be pretty durable. I got it printed at a shop. I'll keep it in my wallet. I have a slot for photo ID, but I never wanted to put my ID in there. This ID card is okay. I'm glad you like it. Erica, I'm really happy that we're friends. Me too. So did you want to eat some snacks? You said you like sweet things, right? Well, I actually just got a huge bag of... Me can? What is that? Since you said you're getting cold and all... Ah! You'll help me finish it, right? Vitamin C is good for cold. <laughs> hey, you can't expect me to finish it all by myself. I bought these for you, so take responsibility. But I don't really like me. Oh, What? The peel always gets under my fingernails. What are you, some little kid? <laughs> I'll peel them for you, okay? You better eat them. Fine. Like, I'd let you eat all of them. Fruit aren't cheap, okay? If you're not gonna help me peel, at least pour some herb tea for both of us. Yay! That, all the emojis are so wonderful. So is that a good ending? I hope that counts as a good ending, because I feel like that was a good ending. Well, there we have it, folks. Let's see. Oh. Can the game end earlier? Is that maybe what the four bad endings somebody said about? Is the game can end earlier? So maybe we got the good ending? I'm just gonna say we got the good ending. If anybody can correct me, please burst my bubble. Yeah, I would say that's a good ending. Haru is alive, let's <laughs> say that was good. Oh god, yeah. She got an ID with the right name and gender on it. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty damn good. I mean, if somebody had done that for me before I changed my stuff, that would have been pretty cool. Yeah, because I did have a birthday before I changed all that. All right, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed. There is a third one. I don't know if there's more than three, but there is a third one. But I do not have the energy for another one, and I don't know if any of y'all do. But maybe we can play that next week. I hope everyone enjoyed that. And, you know, I'll put in my usual spiel. Be sure to give this a thumbs up if you haven't done that already. And I'd love subscribes so you can stay tuned with all of my stuff. And as I've maybe mentioned, I don't know if this is something that's just in my head, I do want to make these streams more regular. I'm making a list of games with as many games with trans characters I, as I can find, but also ones that, you know, just have LGB characters as well and stories, because I think we need more games with representation. So 3.30 a.m. Jeez, Flex, get to bed. <laughs> Thanks for coming, everyone. 
So glad I caught the stream and I'll watch all the future ones. Thanks for coming, Ro. Thanks, Melissa. Thanks, Diane. Thanks, Chloe. Y'all are wonderful. All of your love and comments. It's one of the things that helps keep me motivated to keep making stuff. So. I'm thinking of doing one hopefully next Friday. Um, that's kind of when I want to try to make these things is maybe a regular Friday evening thing. But we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. It'll be regular at some point. But good night, everyone. I love you all. Y'all are wonderful. Tipsy loves you too, wherever she is. It's like, I guess I'm getting into my normal exit video spiel, even though we're live. But I hope everyone, again, is having as good of a holiday as you can. And if the holidays suck this year, you know, know that I'm sending love and support from afar in any way that I can. And we'll have another live stream and we can hang out again soon. And for those of you that celebrate Christmas, I hope you're able to do something fun tomorrow. Be sure to stay warm. It's a nice cold, like uh, 20 degrees here today. It has been terrible. Not that I really go outside much these days because COVID. Yeah, it's 21 degrees. It's, it's delightful. I hate when it gets this cold and we don't even get snow. But now nah, I'm just rambling. But bye, everyone. Mwah. Love you all. See you soon. Click the end.